Hello everyone, so in this video, I'm going to teach you on how you're going to apply the bisection method in Microsoft Excel. So I assume that you already guys know the formula for bisection method, and we're just going to apply here the it in Excel. Given that we have this polynomial function of negative 3 of x squared plus 2x plus 1, and we have to find its roots. So let's start by um, inputting the x and f of x in the incremental search method. Let's start from um, a value of negative 10. So from this side, let's put equals then this value plus 1. Then drag it down and then it's corresponding f of x. So we put the formula negative 3 times this value squared plus 2 times this value oops okay a of 6 oops I'm sorry for that a of 6 plus 1 and then drag it down now we have this f of x so in order to find a root, we have to find two values which have two different signs of f of x. So in this case, there the negative 1 has a corresponding f of x of negative 4 and 0 has a corresponding f of x of 1. So we have to choose between these two. Oh, I mean we have to choose this value or maybe we can also choose this value instead. So the thing is, we're going to put the value of f of the x of n with the negative value so of f of x n. So in this case, the x of n that we're going to put is this negative one because it has a negative f of x. So here we have negative one. And then it's corresponding f of x n. We can just copy this formula. But replace this one by xfn. Then, then just drag it. Um, just just drag it down later. And then it's f of xp. I mean this uh, negative one, just zero. And then it's corresponding f of x equals. I just copy again. But here g6 great now what's the formula for f of x new so of x new it's just the average of f of x and uh i mean of xn and xp equals this one plus this one divided by two let me double check if i got the correct formula okay that's correct and then and now we go continue for the value of f of x new. It's just the same formula though. Um, okay, let's copy. Oops, copy the formula. Then, but we're going to change this by this value. Okay. Now, the thing is, we have this formula. If the value of f of, I mean, if the value of x nu is greater than, oh shit, let, 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 if j6 blue is greater than, if this is negative, if this is negative, x nu. Okay, I'm sorry for that. So, okay, if the value of x new is negative we are going to put the new value of x new here and then in this case if the value of x new is positive we're going to put the value of the x new here else if this is not negative i mean if the value of x new is not negative we're going to put this value as this or as this thing too so we have to put the formula if if this one 
is greater than I mean less than zero meaning negative then the answer is this one else xn are we good okay then we're just going to copy the formula oops I'm sorry we're going to copy this formula but instead change the value I mean it's for x of b but then it should be greater than because we're aiming for the positive value then we're just going to drag it down drag it down drag this one down then drag this one down drag everything down here and here then x there now how are we going to know if we have the um the root already so in this one we have to average the this value and then this value the last value of the x i mean the x new and then this one x new okay let's try let's try this formula absolute of this one minus my correct oops I'm sorry okay again minus so to calculate for the absolute error we have to um we have to uh, minus the difference between these two with absolute value this one minus this one and then just copy it copy it down then how are we going to supposed to know if we have to continue or terminate then we can use this formula we can use this formula if the absolute error is greater than 0 0.001 we will continue or else it will terminate enter and then just drag it down so in this case we already know that at this value it terminates hence the root would be this one and that's the end of the lesson for the bisectional method thank you now for our next lesson i'm going to teach you on how we're going to apply the newton raphson method in microsoft excel so in this method we're just going to apply just the same um concept that we have applied um in our previous lesson but from the um what they call this the bisection method so again starting with the negative 10 we are going to apply this uh, polynomial function negative 3 times this value plus 2x oops 2 times b7 plus 1 oops, this is squared then we're just going to apply it down and then again we have to choose and then again we have to choose a value that has different signs like this one so whatever we put there just anything you know um actually it could be anything the value could be anything you could choose a value that you want so in this case i want to put the value of um say negative one then at this value i mean at this um, side we're going to substitute the x of zero in this polynomial equation so in that case it's going to be negative three or just the same like this same thing as this but 
change this value to our x sub 0 but now at this case we have to derive this polynomial equation well in this case it's going to be negative um, 3 times 2 which is 6 times um, x, sub, x sub 0 plus the derivative of 2x is 2 then 1 0 the next thing is that um, now in order for for us to find x1 we have to to um, um, differentiate I mean minus this one this one divided by this one that's going to be the value of it then this one just copy it down now the value of this would be the x1 the previous x1 so equals this one drag it down I'm sorry just drag it down and then we have to drag it down again then drag this one down and then the value of f of x1 would be um, in this case we can copy this formula I'm sorry oops copy this formula copy but with the value of x1 then drag it down oh what did we do wrong Let's double check x1 this one minus this one divided by h7 okay okay so this one divided by this one this one oh yeah I'm sorry I have the wrong formula um, it is e8 minus g8 there then drag it down there then drag actually we, we can drag everything down oh I don't get it why are we having a error hi guys so I troubleshooted it already and the values of this are just too big and we have to auto fit everything in order for it to show okay now how are we going to find if we it is the root then we can just copy this formula this one so if um, oh, oops if x of 1 the first the previous is um, if we absolute value of this one and then it is negative then it is the root or less than 0 0.001 is the root else we will go to continue then drag it down there so at this point we already found that the root of it is at this one at this point and that is the end of our video I hope that you understand all of our topics for today the Newton Raphson method and the bisexual method thank you